Good morning, everyone. I'm sure that you've seen today our topic is on boundaries. And so I wanted to share a video with you guys about um, boundaries in general and then going over the circles worksheet that I asked you guys to do. And so as it talks about in the introduction for the day, boundaries are just a barrier um, between you and other people. And so um, everybody's boundaries may not be the same, but it's important for us to know where our comfort level is with the different types of people. And so the circles curriculum, as you guys have learned about, is just a nice visual way to figure out which people we should have different boundaries with. And so there is a worksheet called My Circles. And um, so I, I filled it out myself. So I figured I could show you guys and kind of go over how I filled out just as an example. So you'll see here, I did my circles. <laughs> so we, when we start with the circles, we start with the center, which is you. So that is the inner circle. And as you guys are gonna learn about today, the blue circle here is people that are in our family. And so these people that are in our family, we likely have a pretty close relationship with them. And, um, you know, we probably give them hugs. Um, you know, we spend lots of time with them. And so these are people that we're very close to. And so we may not have as many boundaries with them. And so for me, you know, I put my husband Tyler in there, my kids, Cora and Tress, my parents and my sister, just as some examples. So those are people that were in my blue circle of family. So the next circle is the green circle. And so these are people who you are friends with, people who you're close to, you have a relationship with, but they're not as close as the people in your blue circle. Um, so, you know, you may not go walk around in your pajamas in front of your green circle people, but your blue circle people, like the people you live with, you know, they might see you in your pajamas, right? So for my green circle, you know, I put my friends Eric and Jenna, Christine and Kyle, Katie and Matt, Jordan and Rebecca. So those were just some examples of some of my friends. And so, you know, some of our friends, we might hug them as well or might give them a fist bump or something. Um, but as you guys will see, the boundaries that we have with each of these people kind of gets more restrictive as we go along. And then in our yellow circle, those are acquaintances. So these are people that we know, but people that, you know, we don't have a close relationship with. So, you know, we may say hi to them, may wave to them. You know, so on this I put, you know, my friend Jenna's sister, my coworker Jamie, my neighbor Sherry, my mom's friend Allison. You know, these are all people who I know, but people who, you know, I wouldn't go, go to their house or anything like that, you know, but I would wave to them, say I saw them on the street or saw them at a family function. You know, I might talk to them, but I'm not gonna go hugging them. So the orange circle are community workers. And so these are people that, um, you know, are helpers in the community. We often know them by them wearing a badge or wearing a uniform, you know, like police officers, EMTs, firefighters, doctors, nurses, you know, your dentist. Um, I also put, you know, grocery store workers, post office workers. So these are people that, you know, we can trust to some extent if we are in need. Um, you know, we're definitely not going to go up and hug them again, like I said. But if we're in need, you know, we can go to them and, and ask them for help. And then the red circle is the outer circle. And so we wanna have the most boundaries with these people because they are strangers. And so, you know, you can look at, you know, somebody walking on the street, you know, I put someone driving in the car behind me, somebody shopping in front of me, or even my neighbor who lives down the road. Um, these are all people who are strangers to me. And so say, you know, one of these people came up to me and said, hey, um, why don't you come get my car? Or, hey, you know, why don't you come over for some coffee? You know, I'm gonna say, you know, no, that's okay. Sorry guys, I'm working in my office today. Um, you know, so strangers, we really wanna have those good boundaries with them because we, we can't trust them, right? And so the purpose of going over boundaries today is that we want all of you to be as safe as possible. And um, so those strangers, those people we don't know, even, you know, people on the internet, 
who might contact us and talk to us and say, oh, you know, I'd love to meet up with you. Those are strangers. You know, even if they're people that you feel like you've been talking to for a while, you know, some of us know that people on the internet may pretend to be people that they really may not be. And it can be dangerous, right, to trust people that we really don't know. So that is an example of the My Circles worksheet that I did. And I look forward to seeing the worksheets that you guys do and the examples that you give. And, um, you know, I just want to go over that if you feel that somebody has um, kind of crossed a boundary that you have set up, you know, made you feel uncomfortable or um, just made you not feel good, we just really want to encourage you that you can talk to anyone in your life that you trust. You know, whether that's a family member, whether you've talked to, you know, your shared living provider or provider staff, whether you talk to one of us or your DDS worker, um, we just want you to know that if you feel uncomfortable with how somebody has treated you, um, to just talk to someone um, so that, um, you know, you can get the help you need with kind of sorting out that issue and what needs to be done next. So we hope you guys, you know, find what we've put up there today is informative and helpful. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on the Zoom calls today. And thanks so much again for taking part in our virtual program. All right, I'll see you later.